Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show on this wonderful Wednesday morning. Man, has my imagination just been sparked. It has been some 65 million years since dinosaurs existed here on Earth, and we are still as intrigued as we first were when we first discovered these incredible creatures in their fossil form. An international team of researchers has discovered, can you believe it, a new predatory dinosaur with four long feathered limbs. Now, the fossils of the 125 million year old dinosaur named Changyu Raptor was found in the Liaoning province of the northeastern China. Now, the team of researchers who discovered this fossil include Professor Chinsami Turan from the University of Cape Town. Professor Chinsami Turan is here um, and was obviously involved in the publication that has just gone out. But what seems like an odyssey of close on two years in terms of your involvement with this discovery, Professor, congratulations, Thank first you. of all. 125 million years in the making. This must be an incredible finding for you personally to be involved in. I think it's one of those special moments when you actually find a fossil and then realize that it's so significant in terms of our understanding of their diversity. So it's really quite a phenomenal find and I, am, I was absolutely thrilled to be involved in this. Uh, talk, take us through the finding. Why, why has this created such a splash? What has stood out that has made this so much more of a news piece than, than stories we've seen in recent time? Okay, so for one thing, um, until about maybe 10, 15 years ago, we thought all dinosaurs had scaly reptilian kind of skin. And then there was this find where there was feathers on dinosaurs, and that alone caused quite a stir. Then in 2003, there was a discovery of one specimen that had wings on its forelimbs, like birds, wings on its forelimbs, but wings on its hind limbs too. And that was a phenomenal find. But our find today is of the handful of these micro-raptorine dinosaurs, these four-winged dinosaurs, our one is the largest and it has the longest feathers. So it's really quite and unusual. And significantly larger than yes, what we found. Yes, absolutely. Almost double the size of what wow. we previously found. So what this means is that in the uh, Cretaceous, there were these bird-like bird animals. They were dinosaurs, okay? They were not birds. They were <laughs> bird-like animals that were able to take to the air and they had special adaptations because birds today, we know they are, are quite big birds that fly. But of course, now we're talking about dinosaurs that are about 1.2 meters long flying. It's like throwing a cow in the sky <laughs> and seeing it fly. This, um, not really exactly. Is, uh, I, I have to ask, I come from the Ju Jurassic Park generation. Is it related to the Velociraptor? Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, so that's why it's called Changyu Raptor. And the raptor part suggests that it's a meat-eating dinosaur with vicious claws predatory dinosaur, so it's definitely a relative of Velociraptor. Now, talk to us about your specific involvement. Obviously, your field of study deals with um, the bone structure, the microstructure of the bones. Talk yes. us through what that process has been like. What have you learned about the behavior of this creature? Okay, so when we look at the dinosaur bones, you can study the outside of the bones and you get an idea about you know, how big the animal is, how the bones are articulated. But my work looks inside the bones, so basically the microscopic structure of the bones. And the wonderful thing about this is that even after millions of years, that structure is preserved. And you can compare that structure with any living modern animal. And so I've been able to look at this dinosaur bone, and I've been able to work out aspects of how it grew. So that's the cool thing, because when you find a specimen, and it's, um, like in our case, a 1.2 meter dinosaur, you think, huh, is this a juvenile, or is it an adult? What is it? And so looking at the microstructure, I can say, well, this is a juvenile or an adult, whatever. And I found that this animal was a fully grown adult individual. So this means that we're looking at a dinosaur from the Cretaceous that had already reached its maximum size that it would ever grow. So we're talking about a small body taxon rather than one of the big giant dinosaurs that we normally see. It's still scary enough flying <laughs> through the sky. Professor, thank you so much, and congratulations once again on your discovery. I'm sure we're going to find out even more about this, but great that the world has been uh, um, introduced to this and that we have had a South African connection to that. So, Professor, thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you. Thank you very much for your interest. Um, I'm letting the geek in me out in a big way this morning. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Great to know that there is still mystery to be discovered here in our world in this modern era. What an unbelievable discovery.